Hello and welcome to another Let's Play game. Let's try a new one today. Um, we're going to do Hogwarts Legacy and um, see how that goes. Um, I have played this game before, um, but again, I will start from the beginning because this is the Let's Play. So, let's just make a character. And um, then we'll start the game, I suppose. Right, so, a character. Let's go with... Uh, I don't know, who should we go with? Um, I don't know, let's go with that one. I think no. Uh, uh, yeah, so we'll go with that one. Um, we won't change nothing on that because yeah, we'll keep them pretty generic. Uh, yeah, that do. Uh, don't care about scars. Don't really care for that. It was wonderful. I believe I'm ready. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Okay, that, that, I'm just gonna leave that as that. Okay. And now we're obviously a wizard. Uh, we're going to start the journey once we put in a name. So let's just name ourselves my YouTube channel. Make it easier rather than having to think of a name. And we'll start. Let's see how we go in this. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spell we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be forced to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me for the time. <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've operated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try, <laughs> gave quite the frights as our flitter goes in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your hour, I must say I best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak on route to Hogwarts? We have started to feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as you're going charge here, doesn't mind me tagging along? Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks.
and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osbrook is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ryan Rock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Maria? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ramrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliza. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe, presumably, from Ramrock. I cannot own it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Stuff you in a second. Okay, looks like we're basically starting now. So, typical of games, the um, it starts with a bit of um, oh, what do you call it? <laughs> Danger. And now we're taking a potion to miraculously make us better. I can't believe it. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a pork key. Pork key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I feel better, sir, if you like to look around a bit. I would. But step close. We've no idea who created this pork key. Or why. So, I suppose we learn the basics of the game now. Um. 
We'll follow this dude. Oh my god, look at that. Turn that look at How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands, sir. Those roads. Do you think the poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yeah, let's investigate the island. Oh, hang on. Mind your step. No, I don't want to mind it. Okay. Taking the surroundings, I mean, that might just look pretty good. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the part down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Mary wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Yeah. Okay. Right. Excellent. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick. By disabling camera rotation, target can in settings. Click on it. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Ooh, lights up. What can you do with it? Okay, break it. Yes. That's a good pause. Oh. Ah, oh, up there. There's a lot of climbing involved in this. We're close now, it's just ahead.
steady yourself! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they value their privacy. That poor kid led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, investigate. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our house was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay. And we can't bash it. Yep, I'm in Okay. Let's go around and see what else is around the other. Did crystal my star again? The box did it be blocking? What's this? Cool. Professor Fink! Oh my, it's a mirror. Enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the porky container. Okay, let's see. Is there anything in this room? What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wow, well, look at that. They put us in a room. Hello? Yes, of course. 
This way, then. Stay close. After you. Janky, good luck. And keep your hands inside the car if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Here we are. What was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. One little key for all that board. Box 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. So, I want a few more instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I'm to grant access to the hold room key and then close the door. Right. Thank you, Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready for one and focus. Okay, so we're learning the new spell. And we're fine. <laughs> Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer 
and try again. I haven't seen nothing. I don't know what this guy's all about. Come on, say something. Oh, it's a scout. There's that symbol again. Though I don't suppose you see a way to... Gonna touch it. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay, I'm gonna touch it, okay? Touch. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of a test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringos. I want to be able to do the porch. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. Reve, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should pass a little moss. Never learn another one. Try to get a better this time. Right. So, you seem to blah 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 blah. What might be. All right. Okay. Lewis, well done. Now the reflection is turned towards me. It does follow the light. All these combinations were spells. Okay, it looks away when I look away at it. Come 
There's this many who may eat me. Rebecca! I suppose I'm on my own this time. No, fake. Lucas. Wait, wait. Am I going to the middle? Perhaps I need to get them. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Okay. 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 So they go. Oh, my God. 
the Rockies by this day, the same guys. Okay. Let me do this for the one run. Of course. I think they're a lot. You know, he's too many of them. Not very bad. There's so many people ones! Get this right. I'm not close to two of them. Look at the one that is striking me. So I've got a stupid bomb and I'll kill the ones that are stupid. I'm dizzy. somewhere else and probably die somewhere else. Yeah. 
Where are you going? Floating above the basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. But can never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you should be in there. I was right. Ramrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Raggam's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have a key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key. And you... I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no! I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed totally unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the rocket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, hello. And now the game basically starts. At the person. Ah, yes. 
a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Okay, well, we're going to leave this video here and we will carry on for episode two. We'll start with here. Um, just because the video is getting a bit long now. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.